Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. What are we doing today, baby? We're going to redo the floor because we effed it up. <laughs> All right. And then we're also going to try to work on the ceilings and walls. We basically have everything we need to do the floors, walls, and ceilings. Yeah. So we're going to just start with the floors and work our way. Yes, that's right. We're resorting to XPS. So what we're doing, we're gonna just put the sheep's wool down. We're leaving it. Um, it'll get compressed, so our value will be lost, but we're putting XPS over it because that will make up for the fact that we're smushing it and compressing it. I don't know if we explained that already, but let's get cut. We got another cranky Justin in the house. I don't want to talk about that. So it's tell us, stressful. Justin. Can you get off the, um, the board, please? I was told I had to stay here. I hate this stuff. Everyone who's probably watching these videos up to now is like, man, this Justin guy is such a crab. You are. No, he's not that bad. It's just when we're building the van. Keep it down out there, neighbor. We're trying to take a nap. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh no, he's coming for us. Close the door, close the door. Justin, hmm? what's wrong? I hate XPS. <laughs> We cut all these boards out to fill in the holes in the subfloor. There are holes in it, we don't know why, so. So now we're just gonna sand them to the right size, so. Yeah. <laughs> To another day of the van build yesterday we got all of the wood openings from the subfloor put in yeah so today we're hoping to get the framing up right justin yeah so get the subfloor screwed on and then get the studs up so we can do the walls Woo! all right let's get to it <laughs> so we're just going to glue all the little plugs in place with some wood glue and then I'll just keep them even with the floor.
excited to do with the studs on the walls. You can see Ali behind Ali is behind me uh, measuring them out. We decided to get a sheet of plywood and we're gonna cut strips out of plywood to use as the studs on the wall just because it's a little bit stronger. And then we're going to use rib nuts to attach these sheets to the wall so our wall studs will have the maximum amount of strength possible. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. There's no denying what we want. Playing games, no. There's no denying what we want. We're going to run some horizontal boards along these ribs on either side of the van. We're going to do those ones first, and then we're going to do the horizontal, or excuse me, the vertical pieces in the middle once we have those up. So for now, we're going to start doing the horizontal ones. All right, let's measure. Inches. 164. Mark it. All right, let's go cut. marking all the boards um, one foot and that's where we're gonna put sprues for the wall framing so I'm just gonna make dots for each foot cool so now that I have all of the dots marked for each foot I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole through it thanks to my handy partner behind the camera. I'm going to drill holes through all of these holes that I marked and that's going to help us determine uh, fuck something just got in my eye. And so now I'm going to just drill holes through each dot that I marked, put it up against the van, um, make marks on the van metal where we're going to be putting the um, rivets in. That way we can put the rivets in, screw the screws in, done. We're using these little guys to mount the studs to the walls. This is called a rib nut. It works just like a rivet, except the inside is threaded. So, <laughs> it's basically the same deal as a rivet, except you screw it on since the inside is threaded. But I'm gonna screw it on, pop it into the metal, and then we'll have a threaded hole similar to this when we're done. This isn't one we're using, but it's an example. And then we'll have a nice sturdy hole for all of our screws. Shove her on in there. And squeeze. Yeah! Oh, good one. Ah! Bag 
again. Then corset, then you just undo it and unscrew it. And voila, got a nice threaded hole for mounting our studs. You have weak SpongeBob arms? I can't do it. <laughs> Can you do it? I'll take over. <laughs> Thank you. Crimper down. You make it look so easy. She knows, she knows, I try. All right, so making some headway, not quite where we were hoping to be at this point, but. We were hoping we would have all of these up. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, we are definitely finding out and I like I, there's there's a lot of factors in play here. We're beginner vloggers who are still learning how to vlog what we're doing. Yeah. We're beginner carpenters who are still learning how to carpenter. carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> and we are beginner whatever else you see us doing. So it takes a lot longer than we expect things to take. But... Yeah, it's hard, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the name of the game. But check we're these out. I can hang from it. Yeah. <laughs> They're strong. So at least we got something done today. But I think this is where we're going to end the vlog. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give, leave a thumbs up and... Uh, Smash the subscribe button. Yeah, leave a comment if you've got any questions, concerns, tips. Anything. Comments. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.